Hey friends and neighbors, I am attempting <clears throat> the battery reconditioning process using magnesium sulfate, commonly known as Epsom salts, uh, to recondition these batteries right here. And uh, I have a couple of big commercial batteries here that came out of my backhoe very very expensive batteries and had it not been for the fact that I use this backhoe five six at the most ten times a year all year long uh, I would just go ahead and buy new batteries you know I've I've got the best batteries you can buy uh, in our road vehicles in my service truck I got you know a two hundred and fifty dollar uh, uh, die hard <laughs> one of the one of the best batteries ever. I mean, I've always had great luck with them. You got to pay for them, but they're well worth it. I got one of those orbitals in the tracker, and the same in the uh, the RV. So uh, it's not that I'm too cheap. It's that I'm not using this backhoe, but maybe ten times at the very most. And I mean, that's that's pushing it every year. These batteries are probably close to two hundred bucks a piece. Okay, so two hundred bucks for me. Uh, that's a couple good lobster dinners down in Florida this winter. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's what I'm thinking about. Anyway, I seen a couple positive videos. I seen a couple negative ones too, dealing with uh, using uh, magnesium sulfate, our Epsom salts, in a solution. You know, mixing it with water. And by the way, before I forget, it is three cups of water to one cup of magnesium sulfate or Epsom salts okay make sure that uh, when you're mixing it that all of the Epsom salts is completely dissolved you can see this is taking a little while so you just gotta take your time it's not work it's just time consuming you know just just make sure that you swirl her every now and then and give that stuff plenty of time to dissolve in there completely if it's not dissolved it's not going to do you or the battery any good so i got this uh battery here on battery number one as we'll call it and uh i drained all of the battery acid the sulfuric acid out of both batteries when you drain it uh you know uh, if you're going to be real environmentally conscious, if you got critters and stuff like that around, you got to watch it. You can drain your battery acid out, and you can put baking soda to neutralize the acid, and then it's safe to just pour in the ground, okay? I would pour it, if you got like a, a gravel driveway or something like that, I'd pour it in the driveway, because you don't want things growing in the driveway anyway. Uh, but uh, you can use baking soda to neutralize the acid. You have to get it all out. You fill her right up there to the top with the solution. Okay? Tighten your caps down and then give that battery a good shake back and forth to make sure all of the cell plates are coated uh, entirely. Pop your caps back off, recheck the level, see if they went down, and top them off. We're going to see how this works. I've never done it before. Like I say, I've seen positive videos on it uh, where there are claims that uh, you can do this to batteries as old as 25 years old and you can do it as many as four times to the same battery. So we'll see what happens. You know, I don't want to I don't want to spend a mint uh, on something that I'm I'm barely using. And, you know, the backhoe is an essential item out here in the country. Uh, I gotta have it to to uh, do to do all kinds of work out here. If there's any water line problems or something like that, instead of you know dropping five grand to call a uh, a plumber or you know a well digger out, I got my backhoe. I do it all myself. So uh, it's an essential thing, but I I'm not enthused about paying you know upwards, way upwards of a hundred bucks a piece for these batteries. See how it goes, and I'm going to keep you posted on this. Unfortunately, right now, I don't have a load tester 
So I may have to pick one of those up just to uh, kind of document what's going on here. But they say once you put these batteries on, you have to do it at a 2 amp trickle charge. Okay? And they say 24 hours, no less than 24 hours, but 24 to 36 hours. So if I have to, you know, it's going to be a couple of days on these because these are quite a bit bigger than regular automotive batteries. We'll see how it works, and I'll get back with you on the results. See ya.